First up today, um, we are going to start to look at materials, okay? And we're going to keep the palette of materials very, very limited, okay? Um, so, so basically what that means is we're going to work in grayscale, and all we're going to focus on is the texture of the surface that we're working with, okay? So um, I will show you how to change different scales of gray, but I won't really show you how to work with like colors and, and bump maps and making you know real type textures yet. Um, so anyway, let's go back into the uh, view you're working in. So um, this is my view. Um, and don't worry about the thing that I have in the space right now. It will be remodeled by you guys at some point, you know, for whatever you want to display in your space. Go to your materials tab. In the materials tab, you should, at this stage, already have an emitter. Um, oh, side note, are you guys still having licensing issues? Some of you? OK, that's unfortunate. I know we already have the licenses. They should be installing or you know, rolling it out or distributing the license activations or whatever at some point very soon. Um, <clears throat> but for those of you who can work in it, that's great. Um, but anyway, so here in materials, um, go to right click and um, let's rather than working on creating new materials right now we're going to load in pre-built materials and I'll show you what information to focus on to modify them slightly um, so if we're gonna go to MXM uh, actually not browser sorry uh, right click and go to MXM gallery we're gonna rely on this pretty heavily for the first phase of our course um, until we get a little bit more experience and understanding in the language that we're working with, and then we'll start to create materials too. Um, could you please look up um, paint? This is pretty general, actually. Go to uh, white paint. All right, it's going to bring up a whole bunch of paint types. What I'd like you to find is something like this that has a little bit of texture to it um, and, and kind of a matte surface. And do you guys know what I mean by a matte surface? Flat. Yeah, like it's, it's flat. It doesn't bounce reflections. So up here you can see the reflections of the light in the surface, right? That's a glossy surface. These walls are a matte surface. So if you look at the image that you see up here and you look at these walls, it's fairly close. Um, so we're going to download something like that. That's actually a little bit off-white. I think this is kind of closer. My colorization looks a little funny on my screen. They're all a little off-white. There we go. That one's really white. Um, so just try and find one that's very, like, ultra-white. Um, and then go to... Oh, and side note, if you're looking at uh, something like this and it's showing a shiny bright spot, that is a glossier material, okay? Um, so I'm just giving you that as a heads up. So try and find something where the light is very diffuse, but it is, you know, shiny enough. Yeah. Import it. <clears throat> and then um, what I'd like you to do is go back into MXM Gallery, and I really liked um, the glossiness of that material. Um, let's go to white paint again. This thing does not like the corner <laughs> puller. Uh, so there's there's glossy like this, okay, and then there's reflective. If you look at something like this, this is reflective. Okay, so this um, is basically like a metallic looking material. I don't want you to go quite that far. I want you to pull in a material that is a little bit diffuse. Um, but not, eh, I guess this will work. We can work with that. Let's work with this one. Find something with kind of a, a bright hot spot, but it doesn't really show the outline of the light source. And then import that. And then finally, go back to the MXM gallery, and we're going to load something that has kind of a, a textured surface. So let's look for um, uh, 
look for um, white plaster. I'm just looking at the options here. These aren't really, uh, the bump maps on these really aren't intense, but they're there. You'd have to look really closely on your screen. I don't think you're going to really be able to tell up here, but you can see that the, the lighting on this side of it is a little bit like speckly in a way, like there are some dark spots and there are some light spots. We'll work with that. Import that one. So if um, you want to take a moment to, to uh, just load in the exact ones that I have, um, you can, or I can show you how to import a library, which is a very appropriate time for me to do so. Okay, so you've been following along. You may have gotten the right materials, but I'm going to prepare a library for you as well. So I have uh, the emitter spots at eight inches, and then I have all three of these paint materials. Let's create a library. Um, select them and then go to uh, right click and go to export selected and I'll put this in our class folder uh, that's not it week three this is going to be the uh, exhibit material library okay so when you guys need to load it in it's incredibly simple all you have to do is right click in the space go to import library and then navigate to that location and you can import it and all my light and those three materials will show up okay so um, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to to do that get some materials in your um, material you know, tool chest there, and then we'll uh, start to actually apply them, do some test renders, and then do some uh, modifications to them. Any questions? <clears throat> yes? Uh, did you say where can we import the material? Uh, Right-click it, go to Import Library, and it's located in our class folder under Week 3. Okay. 